Hey there, this is Peacekeeper Alex and the Psychic Wargamers. Uh, we are playing Crusader Kings 2 and playing the Warhammer Game and Snack uh, mod. So this is going to be a Peacekeeper Alex gaming stream. It's going to be Crusader Kings 2, Warhammer Game and Snack, Kids of Campaign Let's Play Part 5. And there was a bit of a save game snafu, so. I had to sort of replay and catch up to where I was last episode. Sadly, we're not going to see that insurrection, uh, the the ending of it, as to what had happened. Uh, but I got about to 2034. We were at 2041, so about seven years previous. Uh, and I got to good standing. I got actually more wealth and, 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 and prestige, so we're good. Yeah, lucky enough, and only and got we I got Ob because I felt that necessary. Uh, that's one of the regions that we had taken last time as well too. So we're gonna carry on from here. Twenty thirty four, and the reign of uh, Tatiana of Kislev is going well. Mm hmm. So far, thus far, that is the case. Uh, she wasn't involved in regards to too many wars, uh, but the ones that she did, uh, she uh, she won. Thus far, anyhow. <laughs> Thus far, 2034. Yeah, I know it goes by. Uh, yeah, the game was started in 2010. It's been going for 24 years. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the event is that marks it to, to, to be 2010. I forget what, what it is. Uh, in, the, in the Warhammer world. Mm hmm. I think it says IC, so that gives, it gives a hint. Uh, Radislav, your brother, point him as advisor, so she had a lot of loyalists. On the council, five loyalists and one pragmatist. The spy master was al was alone in being a pragmatist. On the council, the rest were all loyalists. Uh, and that kind of gave her a lot of power to do what she wanted. Grant titles, so like for example, uh, who has full authority to grant titles? Ruger title grant sovereignty again what her father tried to push uh, beforehand and the council went against him her own mother and grandmother <laughs> went against him so but this time she had the council in the palm of her hands the lords of Kislev have approved the institution of the Ruger title grant sovereignty law so she was able to grant and revoke titles freely without any hassle from the council and that was just, it made it easier to manage the realm. Uh, at least through her eyes. The Jana. Uh, and there is, and there was a, a birth, actually, uh, that we didn't have uh, in the last save. Vera. Vera Toyodok. Toyodok. Chitis Mishka of Zoyshenk was uh, going to be what was the heir? Not just gonna be, she was the heir. Mishka. Range marriage. And Tatiana also, uh, her husband, had sadly passed on under suspicious circumstances in 2024, 10 years earlier. It was actually. 2033, it was actually 2033, yeah, the, the, her last husband was 2033 there. Correct. It's a pack. Supposing Naughty Skull Crag has been disbanded. So again, I guess certain to Greenskins going after one another. 
a certain different kind of ammo. Yeah. Defensive packs. <laughs> One diplomacy. Tsarina Tatyana of Kislev gets aspiring poet. <sighs> and one of the things uh, also is we're going to see maybe if there's a rebellion in Sylvania within the next six to seven years here. So we'll see if that pops up. Sylvania, yeah, because we kind of need it. And that was one of the things that you looked at is that Sylvania is just this huge nation to the south and Imperial Reichland getting pushed back. Uh, the only thing that's going to be stopping them is, is Bretonia and, and, and Imperial Reichland, really, uh, to a certain degree. I guess, uh, who else? Empress Kim of the Imperial Wasteland, she is smoking hot. Mm. Yes, she is. Empress Kim of the Imperial Wasteland, 32. And yeah, so those three, those three... Those three, and he's a handsome devil too, Imperial, uh, Emperor Ludwig of the Imperial Reichland, Bretonia, yeah, those three nations, Bretonia, Reichland, and the Wasteland, the Imperial Wasteland, Marienburg, I think, uh, yeah, Marienburg to a certain degree. And really, if I was to join the fray, and one of the things I can do here, actually, under Count Vlad, I can go there, and I can try and maybe steal... Steal the ring. Steal the von Kostin ring, but I kind of like the way we're going here, kind of ignoring them. Ignoring them seems to have worked thus far, so... I think I'm just ignoring the undead legions to the south that are continuing to ravage southwards. I think it's probably the best bet. <laughs> I mean, that that's the true. I mean, that, that was one of the truths of it, so... That, that would be, uh, mm. One of the things that did happen was that sort of uh, ignoring of certain things that had happened uh, in the world, I mean... Chaos Dwarves over to the east, just sitting there, doing their thing amongst the Greenskins, toil and labor, and a bunch of other things. We don't see the, you know, and, you know, it, because it was everywhere. And the Ungles to the north weren't, you know, I mean, as much as Sylvania, the undead hordes are scary and things of that nature. This was, this was the Warhammer world. <laughs> there was, uh... Know everything and anything up into the above, especially to the north of Kislev. <laughs> to the north of Kislev, yeah. But they just had the luck of having Sylvania to the south. That was just their luck. That, that, that was it. And they declared war. Silently. And what happened, they, they wanted to take one last piece of land that <laughs> that Vlad hadn't taken yet. Duke Maximilian of Furlangen and Furlangen, Bokenfels. Is it Bokenfels or Bosenfels? Yeah, it's Bosenfels. So Bosenfels, at Bosenfels, is what they were trying to take. So, raise the military. About 5,500 men. They're all to meet in uh, Plaus. 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 Rally. Rally not. That's what we said. Alright. So they were only able to really, you know, the enemy was only able to muster about a, a thousand men. So the gain, she gains the trait Poet. And Betrothed can marry as well. Prince Wilhelm of Imperial Midland and Tsarvin, Tsar, 
Zarevna. Zarevna, can you uh... Yes, can we do match roll? No, we can't, but yeah, we'll go there. So, with Middenland. <sighs> Emperor Manfred the Wicked. And he only had a small piece of land left. Middenland. So, Midland, Middenland was also in the way, to a certain degree. Yep. Exactly. Don't forget about Midland. That's exactly it. And they had a, a pact with Kislev through marriage. Very good. Accept. We accept. So the marriage uh, works. And we can actually arrange marriage for uh, Jana. And I think marrying Tolia would be good to we lose 400 prestige. It will be matrilineal. But I think having more, uh... Oh, I know. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she doesn't. Tolia. It was always the decision. She didn't know whether to marry Tolia. 52, and she was 37. It was going to be Tolia or no one. That was always it. You know, you had multiple lovers, but I was always in. Tolia was one of them. So they marched. Battle of Bosenfels. Ride to the forest to see a group of pompous soldiers come in uh, from my unit. The weapons raised. When they finish with us, all my men are dead. I sink to my knees in the snow, wondering why I'm still here. I what happened? I struggle in the future to overcome these events. And victory in Bosenfels, even though even though uh, commander unit kind of went a little bit edgy. Siege magic includes mages or daemon sormoners. We've seen that event pop up before. Fort of Bosenfels to the Gospodor Tatiana. May any wisdom ever allude to this form of declaration of war? The Ungols declare war and take advantage. <sighs> I leave you my stay in case that I found a great philosopher who agreed to help me with your studies in the hands culture in the country. With your permission, I would suggest that we employ him, your humble court priestess, a uh, speaker. Snezbran. 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 Of course. We do that. We lower. So the Ungles, uh, yeah, the Ungles take advantage. Raise up some men. She was leading, Tachana was le leading the men. Uh, she didn't have a, that high of a marshal, but she did have a good diplomacy. She had 27 diplomacy. So she was good at diplomacy. But even just her presence would probably change uh, the battle in a certain manner. They ended up uh, focusing on defeating Duke Maximilian of Verlangen, uh, that piece of land that they wanted from to snatch from Vlad's paws. Just a small piece of land to the south. Again, Bo uh, Bosenfels. she would have to go to mercenaries. She had a lot of gold to do so.
crap better be worth the news since then she was also pregnant with a third child as this as this battle with the ungles starts to unfold Unmarried and pregnant, the fates are cursed. Begins to train pregnant, loses 50 piety and 50 prestige. Something like that. Uh, warrior woman alert. If she still leads the armies, train the pregnant, say, in a certain kind of manner. <laughs> well, you don't know why. Ooh. And then two rebellion wars uh, start to unfold as well, too. Peasants. Maximilian and they enforce their demands. So they ended up getting that piece of land from Posenfels. But then they had two peasant revolts to deal with, and then the Ungles to the north, which had 6,000 men. They were able to raise uh, around the same amount in Vidovia. In Vidovia. I don't know why it was. You have no clue. They waited for supply lines. were beaten and then they swooped around southwards and then back northwards to Salar 5600 against 6800 the besiege was going well for the enemy Continued besieges happening on the one uh, Ungle region, Salaire. Uh, the main army ended up catching up to the first peasant revolt, and the first peasant revolt was crushed. Forced demands. And this was the chance to be able to defeat them. They all converged. An army of avoid Roman Siege of Taldum. Seven thousand against four thousand and this battle. Huge battle of Taldum. And the Ungles were crushed. So a daughter was born to Zarina Tachana of Kislev and an unknown father named Vasilisa. Vasilisa. So 
So all daughters. And she legitimizes uh, both of them. Vera. And Vasilisa. The heir was still Mishka. Chief is Mishka of Soshank. She granted landed titles to her daughter as, as well, too. Western Corps priest, respectively. Build spy network in Kislev. Research cultural tech, Kislev. Uh, they didn't really need to worry about too much about fabricating claims uh, for some of it. She had to trek across the Ungol's land, across to go over to Tessiv quickly to try and change the fates. And then again, she swooped down southwards and went to Solaire again. So this would happen multiple times. This time, they had won. They finally uh, won in Solaire. Ursin, Supreme Ursin, they get like her father following her father's footsteps in multiple ways. Orang, but she won most of the battles.
Siege of Azimus. Zealous there and trying to storm uh, in the siege of uh, Arzimus and losing uh, a shit ton of men. Oh. 1177 against 1300. Battle of Novi Orsco. And both sides would get devastated. There would be victory. Only 1800 men left. Uh, she would be able to enforce demands. So she won both wars by 2038. Renislav Boka, Grand Lady title. Of range marriage, get him married, choose a focus. Yeah, you can also grant more. Uh, Titles, minor titles, of course. Run a slab, court musician, Sergus. So she had a happy realm under her hands. Uh, her vassals all seemed fairly happy and well in control, something that her Igor didn't have to a certain degree. And all loyalists on the council currently. She's able to invest in uh, legalism, high centralization, late field administration, regulated inheritance, legalism three. Form the Kremlin Guard. She does. Ransom uh, some of the prisoners. They shall serve me well. Donate some money to the witch hunters. Most witches are in it to China. They order gladly accept your humble donation. Take note of your outstanding action for future reference. Grandmaster Alfrek. She stayed unmarried. She wanted to give more a couple of years for peace. In a couple of years, she was going to go after Bitsy. 
Vitsy. Yeah, Inelchin, Inelchin of Vitsy. Prince Oleg Neal has declared an Aaron Guardian Vitsian War for the coast of Mary Megion Inelchin of Vitsi. So Oleg the Mule had already started him already went for a already went for it. And I guess he was able to declare war outside the uh, the realm. How was he able to do that? For since the Battle of Bosenfels, I find it hard to being near and my children for fear of being sent away again. I cannot stand the thought of us losing each other in this distance is better. Surely it is better. I need a drink. The John of Case love gains the trait drunkard. Oh like the mule. Finish her education with complete lack of guidance. She's still trying her best to tr study and trade. Unfortunately, to no avail. Oh, you may. Local noble here in Kislev, Adaman uh, Karimdan of Posantra tried to silence me by sending some thugs to kill me. Luckily, I managed to get away. I will go ahead and spread rumors about his corruption and destroy his reputation among his vassals. You have my blessing. So Dougal's forest and forest of Borisov. Dougal's. So we're attacking the Dougal's and Dougal Forest. No cozy, no cozy in Dougal's forest. She raised up the in the army two years later in 2040. All the meat at Obe. men against 1,000 and they all kind of fleed. About 3,383 men trying to chase down the army of wolf, Dukels. And they ended up clashing. Even though Dukels had the advantage, uh, they had less men, just unable to do anything about it. Right to 
Meg and Helviki, we could be friends. Dearest Arena, to try have kids live in this agreement, we can lead to better understanding between our people, so I'll put effort into opening our borders to visitors from your realm. Kag and Helviki of Hergic. Fantastic. So, some more, uh. Whoa, and, and even added allies to the war in the midst of it. So she goes chasing down armies again. Army of Sunni. Sunni was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. I think just room here because of one of the local nobles are pretty corrupt and use this you should fit. Uh, I'm not using this on the allegation of corruption. I'll take some time from this age. Bernitzers. Forest uh, was surrendered. Use it. Death of Vlad von Karstein, the undead armies he had raised to return to the ground, undead no more, there may be hope for the Empire yet. So, holy smoke, Vlad is defeated, and all to the south is Empire lands again. Starland, Averland, Talabakland, Ostland, Hulkland, the way, Imperial Waste, Imperial Westerland, not Wasteland. There you go. Holy smoke. So, security in the south, not having to worry about it anymore. I will not be blackmailed in the middle of it. Holy smoke. Oh, like the mule has declared Kislevian war, civil war for Gavelkind on Tsarina Tatjana of Kislev. So, so she goes to mercenaries yet again. There we go. Caught the rebellious rebellions and the rager. It was the rager. Lemnity the rager. And we have our peace and force demands. And no cozy was theirs as well too. So Douglas Force and no cozy. Those two wars uh, over with. And now having turned their attention on Oleg the Mule, who has declared war for Gavelkind. Has caused both loyal veterans and various adventures to make the raided kids lift up for the muster. Talk to 
attempt to grab the bottle in my hand as I reached for more wine and hold it against the wall. You're killing yourself, she shouted with tears. Stop drinking for your family's sake. I'm trying to change for you. And the Battle of Svatinivo. Svatinivo. Uh, one. Of course, Erengrad joined in the rebellion again. Rebelling against. Seventh house just continue to march over to Erengrad and Yay. So we've fulfilled in grooming an heir. Mishka of Kislev. Sarevna. Saravina. Prestige on that I'm bringing that house lowborn. It was just too much to handle. <sighs> so, my accent, Serena Tatiana, peace be with you. We promised the full card of Hawklandian revolt and Serena Irina of Kiss of Mary. Mm, no. Marched in Aragrad with 7,000. Aragrad was only able to muster about a thousand men. and in the south as well.
and they were able to put uh, beat Oleg the Mule into submission. In force demands, this time Oleg was put in jail. So yeah, and that is where we're gonna leave it. Oleg the Mule gets thrown in jail. Uh, yeah.